Hey everybody, Jim here, and welcome to another pickups vid. Uh, for those of you who just want to see a whole crap load of Dreamcast games, you can go ahead and skip to the end now. But uh, I did get some other pretty cool stuff this past couple of weeks, so let's check it out. First, I'm going to start with a couple of uh, guides I picked up. Um, this one is the uh, Dragon Quest official guidebook. It's pretty cool, but it's copyrighted in like 88 or 89 or something. So this actually came out a little after, you know, a few years after the game. So, but still pretty cool. Also went ahead and got a Final Fantasy IV uh, guidebook. Pretty cool as well. Um, I not a whole lot to say about these. They're just guidebooks for uh, their respective games cool artwork in this one by uh, Kira Toriyama obviously and they're both about a buck a piece and then I have this one which is the uh, Street Fighter 03 it's called All About Street Fighter 03 and it's again just a awesome how-to book on Street Fighter 3 character combos, special moves, strategies, all that kind of good stuff and that was also about a buck. And that's a thick one. So, pretty cool to get those for a buck a piece. All these loose cuts on Famicom. Got a copy of Valkyrie no Densetsu. I got it because I thought it was going to play like the PC Engine one. It doesn't. It's still a, you know, overworld view, killing monsters and things like that. But it's not as arcadey as the um, one on PC Engine, but it's still enjoyable. Just kind of one of those where the hell do I go kind of games. Here, by Konami, I got a copy of Gradius. But who doesn't like Gradius, right? Your starship, you get those cool little satellite guys and you shoot up a whole bunch of stuff. Gradius, classic schmuck. This game here is, I believe, Shin Bin Rui. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's another uh, shooter. It's a, you know, your little caveman guy walking around, uh, screen scrolls, and you shoot a bunch of bugs and dinosaurs and all kinds of crazy crap. So, Shin Bin Rui, Famicom. And uh, this game, you yeah. know, I'm not going to go through the trouble of pronouncing the title. It's basically just a game. It's like an action RPG where you play as Ramen Man from the Ultimate Muscle series, and it's interesting. That's all I'll say about that. Next up, got a copy of uh, Magical oh, how the uh, Toruro Tokun or Taruro Tokun, whatever. Um, I got this game because I had the one on Mega Drive and I really liked that one. I thought this one would basically just be the Super Famicom version of that. It's actually not. It's a considerably different game it's got an overworld map where you go from level to level like Mario 3 or something and your main attack is licking things and you go around eating a lot of cookies and stuff I don't know kind of an odd game next up also on Super Famicom it's a copy of um, well, Joe and Mac basically um, I think in the states this one was actually called Joe and Mac 2 Lost in the Tropics not sure but it is really fun and three loose 64 games. Copy of Tetris 64. Awesome. Good shape. Again, these are, are all about a buck a piece. Uh, Gambari Goemon on the 64. Also cool. And a copy of Hybrid Heaven. The, I guess you would call it an action RPG. I would. Upgrading all your body parts and things like that. It's pretty cool. Hybrid Heaven. And that's some gaming stuff. All right, moving right along. And here we have some stuff for various Famicom systems. Well, two um, right here on the Famicom disc. I picked this up because I thought it was kind of cute. Um, it's a copy of Zelda 2. The person obviously lost the uh, cover piece and manual and all that. So they drew their own little cover and taped it to it. This was like two dollars. So I went ahead and bought it just because I thought it was kind of 
cute and actually a, a well drawn little cover there. So I will eventually get the complete Zelda 2 when I spot it, but I thought this would be kind of cool to have in the collection. So Zelda 2. Another game here. This is simply called Volleyball. Just a very simple volleyball game for the Famicom disc. And here um, it's Shin something sh uh, shown in uh, uh, Metal Magu for the uh, Famicom disc. And another one of Square's early works. Square thank heavens they started making Final Fantasy games because they were making some not good stuff. And down here I went ahead and got me another copy of Dragon Quest 2. Um, this one first of all the box and car everything's in better shape than the one I already had which is nice and the one I had was missing manual so this one came complete with the manual. Awesome. So I got me another copy of Dragon Quest 2, and I'm very happy with that. And that's the stuff I got for Famicom recently. Alright, and here we have some more Nintendo stuff. Got uh, two GameCube games recently. First up, I got a complete copy of Eternal Darkness, the game that will drive you crazy. And I got a copy of... Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which doesn't come with the uh, sleeve, but it was only a couple of bucks. So I went ahead and got that, which is uh, the one thing that kind of pisses me off. Uh, it wasn't that hard to find this game. I've yet to ever see a copy of Sonic Adventure 2 for the Dreamcast anywhere ever. What the hell is going on? Anyway. And then I got some boxed N64 games, which I wasn't going to because I didn't have room for them, but I made some room, and so now I'm on the hunt for boxed 64 games. So I got a copy of Mario Party. It was always a fun play. Another copy of Diddy Kong Racing, which is my favorite racing game on the N64. And that's saying a lot because there are some good racing games on that system. Another great racing game on the system, F-Zero X. Uh, love this game. Love the soundtrack. In addition to the really fun gameplay. So I got another copy of Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Another awesome game. Really, really like this game a lot. And uh, was happy to find it complete in box. So I got a copy of Turok. Because who doesn't like to rock or didn't like to rock back in the day fun games and to go with that this game here the title is violence killer to rock new generation but it's actually just to rock to the seeds of evil and that's just another good to rock game yay and I got a uh, complete copy of Castlevania um, again, I've been playing this not extensively, but I've yet to become really frustrated with it. Um, it's not great, but not ultra terrible. It's playable. Um, but there's a complete copy of Castlevania on 64. And that's my Box 64 and GameCube games for this past couple of weeks. Alright, and here we have nine games for the 3DO. Um, the hard off near my house had a bunch of 3DO games, but they were priced at more than I wanted to pay for them, which still wasn't much. It was like five to ten bucks a piece, but come on, they're 3DO games. So when I went back, they eventually cut the prices uh, like in half, because they just weren't selling these things. So I swooped in and, and grabbed most of them. Um, this game here, Fireball. It is a pinball game, and it sucks. You might hear that word a lot in this segment. Okay. Here's um, 
uh, well, I'm not going to, can't read the title because I don't know what this kanji says, so I'm just going to, but it says ARPM, Action Role Playing Movie, which it isn't. It just has some little, you know, full motion video cutscenes in it, and then it becomes a first person shooter. A very sucky first person shooter. Awesome. It's an action role playing movie. Here we have uh, Ultraman Powered, which I love. The, the, this has some awesome cheesy full motion video cutscenes. They're, they're just fantastic. But um, the gameplay itself is just like clunky, terrible, shitty gameplay. But it's Ultraman, and I like the cheese of Ultraman, but there it is. It sucks. Moving on. Copy of Wacky Races. I bought this game thinking to myself, cool, Wacky Races, a racing game. Well, those, you know, Hanna-Barbera characters. No, it, it's not a racing game. You basically just bet on the race. Bet who you think will win, and then you watch the race play out in these little cutscenes. It sucks. Oh boy, Shadow Warriors. Uh, let me go on record as saying this game is the worst Mortal Kombat knockoff I have ever played. It's worse than Way of the Warrior. It's worse than Kasumi Ninja. This game has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. It sucks. Well, this is fun. I should get more 3 video games to talk about how much they suck. This game, apparently in the Ghost Hunter series, again, I'm not going to attempt to read it because um, I can't read a couple of the kanji, so my Japanese is still not quite there yet. But anyway, this game is just like, it's like a role-playing game. It takes place in this haunted mansion and um, with, uh, again, a lot of full motion video cutscenes and stuff. and. Uh, it sucks, but not as hard as the other games I've been talking about just now. Alright, next up. This game actually made by Electronic Arts. It's Escape from Monster Manor. And it's actually not that bad. Of all the games I picked up on the 3 go this one's probably the one I've had the most fun with. It's just a little first-person shooter where you're zapping ghosts with this electric electricity taser gun and you're finding keys and pieces of this talisman and moving on to the next level so it's actually not that bad escape from monster manor so microcosm this game is like a uh, it's a shooter a shoot 'em up but it's uh, you're like inside someone's body in like a shrunken down spaceship kind of like that movie inner space with um what's his name Dennis Quaid and Martin Short pretty cool and lastly Super Wing Commander which this game is good it plays like the other Wing Commanders and stuff but no Mark Hamill damn anyway not so bad and those are uh, nine 3DO games I bought in the past couple of weeks yep. alright and finally I was able to pick up 18 Sega Dreamcast games. Um, they were all purchased at the same hard off. Um, I was ultra excited. Uh, I went there actually to buy some 64 games, but just check the Dreamcast section on a whim. They normally never have anything, but uh, apparently somebody had just turned in a huge lot, so good news for me. This first game, however, is not a Dreamcast game. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a Saturn game, and it's called Dragon Ball Z Shin Butoden. And basically, you take the graphics and all the characters from Ultimate Battle 22, but you give the game the gameplay of the Super Butoden, Butoden games from the Super Famicom, and you've got Shin Butoden. So it's actually pretty fun. Alright, now let's move into all these Dreamcast games. This first game, um, it was only about a buck and it's factory sealed so I won't be playing this one or opening it up um, the reason it was so little is because it's really an online game where you bet on horse races kind of like those games they have in the arcades you just bet on virtual horse racing so 
It's factory sealed and it was a dollar, so I'll hang on to that. Next up, let's take a look you see here. Sega Extreme Sports. Uh, you just have a handful of characters and you use them in various extreme sports games like hang gliding, mountain biking, ATV, um, snowboarding, there's even sky surfing and I think something else. Uh, Sega Extreme Sports, pretty fun. Next up, Fire Pro Wrestling D. I actually like this game just because of all the wrestlers it has in it. It has a lot of these wrestlers from the WCW NWO era. But they, um, they, I guess they couldn't get the licenses to them, so they just changed the names around. It's their exact likeness, but they're called something else. So, like, instead of being called, like, Steve Austin, the wrestler might be called, like, Reeve Boston, or something stupid like that. But you know who it is. Alright, next up, Evolution. Uh, pretty fun little RPG. I only spent about an hour and a half maybe playing this, but it was pretty good. Um... I'll put some more time into this. Uh, yeah, not bad. Evolution. Right here, we got a copy of July, which I don't like because it's just a basically a, a bunch of stills, and you're choosing your responses. It's basically just a super text-heavy game. It's not very fun. No real gameplay to speak of. Here, got a copy of Machin X, Deus Ex Machina by Atlas. It's the first person game, uh, you mind jack into people and you kick their asses with swords and all kinds of other weapons and cool stuff, so there you go, Machin X, copy of D2, which is absolutely nothing like the first D, it's actually more like Parasite Eve or something, I don't get it, who's in their business suit like out in the middle of nowhere, actually the setting and monsters remind me of The Thing the movie the thing and got a copy of biohazard 2 value plus and what's so value plus about this game if I can pop it open um, well, let me get around the back it's got a uh, yeah, demo for uh, code Veronica it's pretty cool um, forgot how awesome this game is probably my favorite biohazard game Sat down and beat it the other night. It took me about three hours, three and a half hours. Wonderful, wonderful freaking game. All right, all the rest of these are going to be fighting games. Uh, someone turned in a huge lot of fighting games. So I got King of Fighters 99 Evolution. Awesome. I'm a huge King of Fighters fan. King of Fighters Dream Match 99. Even more awesome. King of Fighters 2002. These aren't as good. This is when Playmore was making them and not SNK Playmore. Um, but yeah, still KOF 2002. Some other SNK fighters. This one, let me uh, read the title properly. It's Gekka no Kenshi Final Edition. Or this came out in the States as Last Blade 2. This is a really good game. Um, Reminiscent of the Samurai Spirits games. Here, one of the best SNK fighters ever, Garo, Mark of the Wolves. Really good uh, Fatal Fury game. I really like it a lot. This one, incredibly awesome. Vampire Chronicle, and it says for matching service. Um, this one has basically you can choose your playstyle from all the different past um, Darkstalkers games, and it was an uh, online. Compatible, or is that the right word? I don't know, um, but yeah, you can play Darkstalkers online. Cool. Next up, really great game. Capcom vs. SNK2. Uh, love this game. Huge roster of characters, and uh, yeah, I used to play this a lot back in the day with uh, my best friend. We would play a lot of 2D fighters. Another super awesome, great, amazing game. Power Stone 2. Found this in the bargain bin for a dollar. So, I don't know what it was doing there because the manual disc and everything is in great shape. So, Power Stone 2. Amazing, amazing game. Next up, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Another absolutely classic fighter for the Dreamcast. Uh, this was not in the bargain bin, but it was still only about five bucks or so. 
So there you go. And then lastly, disregard that everyone. <laughs> Minor technical difficulties. Lastly, a rare one. A copy of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This game is really good, looks great, sounds great, plays great, but I actually prefer the PS1 version just because of the added mini games during story mode. This one doesn't have very many, only one really. But anyway, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is a great game no matter what system it's on. And that down there and down there and right there are a whole bunch of Dreamcast games I got this past couple of weeks. Everybody, thanks for watching. Please. Take care of your games and each other. Alright everybody, keep gaming. See you next time.